Hi everyone, I'm Pranita and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making Mirchi Bhaji. When I have guests over at my house, the first thing I look for is recipes that I can prepare ahead of time. So when they're actually here, I can enjoy with them instead of sitting in the kitchen and cooking while they're here. So Mirchi Bhaji is one of those recipes. How we can do that, I'll detailly explain it in the video. So let's get started. These are the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. I have the main ingredients, peppers. These are serrano peppers and I highly recommend them. And I also have basin flour or it's also called as gram flour to which I've added a pinch of carom seeds and a pinch of cumin seeds. I have four cloves of garlic that I'm going to grate on this grater and one four teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of chili powder, less than half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now this is a store-bought flour so it requires a little bit more baking powder. But Now if we talk about the chilies, here I have slid the chilies three ways. The first way is like a butterfly way. With this you get a mirchi bhaji that is bigger in volume and you get a lot of batter around it and it's easy to remove the seeds. The other type is I've slid them individually. Now this is great for cocktail parties where you just serve them like a two bite snack. That's it and that's easy to serve and handle and do easily. Now this is the classic way that I have just slit in half. The next thing to do with these peppers are to remove the seeds, apply the salt and if you find serrano peppers a little bit spicy for your family you can apply a little bit of lemon juice after removing the seeds and applying the salt and let them sit for 15 minutes. I'm also going to add all these ingredients to the flour and mix it to the right consistency that I'm going to share with you guys later in the video and we are going to start frying. So I'll see you guys later. So you take the paper, you see how I removed all of the ribs and the seeds and there is nothing so there is no, there is not a lot of heat inside, left inside this paper. I'm going to finish applying the salt and as I mentioned earlier, if you find these peppers spicy, apply the lemon juice at this point. Just squeeze in a little bit, like about half a teaspoon on all of them and you are good to go. Time to get started on the batter. Here I have one and a half cups of basin flour or gram flour and I've added all the ingredients and I also have grated the garlic. I'm using four cloves of garlic, baking powder, salt and some chili powder. I also have a whisk that I'm using, it's easy to mix. And here as you can see my frying pan is all set with oil for deep frying. While you're getting started on mixing the batter, it's also a good idea to switch on the heat and start heating up your oil so that it saves you a little bit of time. So I have half cup of water. I'm going to add a little bit at a time and then see if I need to add a little bit more. Make sure that the batter is at the right consistency is to dip the chili pepper. And if it coats it and it stays on, like, look at this, it's slowly dripping. That means it's just evenly coating. Just dip it this way. Still slowly dripping. This is the perfect consistency. I love it. Time to get started on frying these mirchi bhajis. And the perfect technique to dip a mirchi is, usually you can dip the whole thing and fry, but what I like to do is I put my fingers in the slit and dip it on one side and then slowly turn it like ever so gently dipping it and then go ahead and slowly drop it into the oil. Make sure it covers evenly. I'll show you a half piece. We'll show it again. So put your fingers in the middle so that no batter, the batter is not filling the inside part and start dipping it from one side and then turn. It might coat your fingers a little bit, but make sure you coat the chili pepper a little evenly. I already tested the salt and the baking powder consistency by 
And once you start frying these mirchi bhajis, so you have to let it cook halfway. And when you turn it on the pepper side, it's gonna splatter a little bit. Just be careful and gently turn it over. I like doing mirchi bhajis this way because when the pepper actually gets cooked, it actually caramelizes and it reduces the heat. So it kind of acts in our favor and also it tastes great when it's a little bit charred on the edges and the insides are still soft and nice and egg. So when I was saying that mirchi bhaji being a snack that can be done ahead of time before your guests arrive, I meant that you can keep them warm in the oven for about an hour. As you can see, I've placed the mirchi bhajis on the baking sheet aligned with an aluminum foil for easy cleanup and I have preheated my oven to 150 degrees that being the lowest temperature and in the middle rack you can keep them warm for about an hour so the next time your guests arrive you can make them an hour ahead and have plenty of time to get ready so the mirchi bhajis are ready to be served I like to serve mirchi bhajis with a pinch of chaat masala sprinkled over them and some finely chopped cilantro with a side of onions and some lemon. Thanks for watching. You can find this recipe and many more at booklesscooking.com.